Hey Eyeliners, this lab, Lab 5, is called Ball and Cup, or Projectile Motion. Uh, you get the ramp out, remember the ramp? This little guy right there, and you mount it to the side of your table. Now you see how mine's a little crooked? You gotta find a better table. A table that is flat enough where it's coming off horizontal, that's the most important. Okay, and here's what you do. You take the ball, and you put it right on that little marker up there so it's consistent and you drop the ball and notice where it lands every single time every time you drop the ball mark where it lands and find the spot on the floor where it lands obviously you probably wouldn't do it near the rug you would probably have a nice uh, table in a room that has just a uh, tile or something by just measuring the height from where it left the ramp the bottom of the ball left the ramp to the floor, that vertical height, and noting the horizontal height on where it landed, you should be able to figure out the speed of the ball as it comes off the ramp. So that's part one of this ball and cup lap. Alright, now we took this ramp and we took it and put it on a bookshelf. So it's an entirely different height. You're going to measure that height. Yes, you are. And then, just by knowing that height and the new velocity coming off of the ramp that you figured out in part one, you are going to predict where it's going to land. Where on the rug or the linoleum floor that you have is it going to land? Where is it going to be? Wherever you decide that's going to be, you might have to plumb bob it straight down with a longer string than they gave you for the plumb bob to find out exactly where straight down from the edge is. But when you figure that out, this comes the fun. Put the cup where you think it's going to be. Put the cup down where you think it's going to be. Measure it all out carefully. Promise you don't cheat. Don't use the ball until you're actually ready to shoot it down. So then when you think you know where the cup should go, because you measured the horizontal distance from directly below the ramp and the vertical distance, and you know the velocity coming off of the ramp, hopefully it's horizontal if you made it all go nice, then you're ready to shoot. And what you do is give it a try. Put the ball down the ramp and see whether or not you were right in a win in the cup. It's kind of fun. Don't cheat. This is fun. Ooh. All right, our liners, this is all you got to do for this lab. We call this a mini lab because you don't have to work so hard and we're under a crunch. So here's all you have to do. It's called ball in the cup. And all you have to do is write me a nice paragraph to let me know that you understand what chapter 3 was all about. That Vx is constant if you ignore air. Vy changes because of gravity, because gravity is vertical, not horizontal. And that life in two dimensions are kind of schizophrenic. Vx constant, Vy changes by 9.8 meters per second squared every second, no matter what, even if you're moving really fast sideways. And that was the gist of the lab. So I hope you had a good time doing it and write me a paragraph and then show me all the data show me all the calculations on how you figured out what the X was and then when you brought it to a higher height how you figured out where to put the cup because you, that second time the second part of the lab you're solving for um, the horizontal distance in the X alright have a good time put a little conclusion on there tell me how well you did thanks